Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do quick and dirty how you can actually make a mini map without much hassle because I've seen some really complicated long tutorials and they actually have their well existence right but here let's make it quick and dirty of course this is not the optimal way but a good way anyway does it rhyme yes I guess so and then I will show you a second way how you can uh, make a, a mini map with screenshots and I must say that is one of the dumbest ideas I ever had because <laughs> the performance on that thing is atrocious but of course I will show you that as bonus content because why not let's make something completely pointless on this channel so how does the first thing work well it pretty easy so basically you're having your first camera in here so you just go under your room my room is quite huge so basically 3000 by seven something something so that thing is not a small level like, of course it can go bigger hey why not and then i well enable our my first viewpoint as you can see uh, let's make it not too big concerning um, how much we want to see and then well give the viewpoint uh, viewpoint properties like four times the value so it bam we just zoom in and then what you will see is just basically well just a cut out piece of the um, well level and this is what we want to see first of all we want just to have a piece of the uh, level and then it's zoomed in so this is the first camera easy piece and then well it is following and then well we give it a border vertical and horizontally so basically if you if we are bumping into with a player near to the border with a value of three 300 so basically almost instantly then well we uh, move the camera with 100 and 100 vertically and horizontally yeah yeah easy peasy stuff but let's go to the more interesting part well we just put in a second camera and then we make it visible and then you see huh where is it oh it's the whole screen so the first thing of our properties we want to show the whole level and therefore we just give it the width of the whole level and the height of course you don't have to do that if you want to have it a little bit more 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 proportionally because that thing is squished a lot now and then you just have a very specific portion which you want to show of course still a bigger one than the original first view but hey let's make it easy and then of course as you can see we don't want to show it one to one we want to show it quite small and therefore we give it a smaller height and width value and then it's done i don't know something like this just uh, keep in mind that we need to move it a little bit to the right and downwards and these values are based on my um i guess they are based on the first viewport or on they are based on i guess here on those kind of values or on the screen not sure about that too early for me to think so basically um what is just basically happening you're having two views the first one second one then once we started we have our cheap camera mini map finished as you can see it is quite stretched but it does work so as you can see this round ball doesn't look too round and therefore um you need to adjust your values but this is basically quick and dirty fix how you can do your mini map uh, in game maker studio with two views easy peasy so this is the first thing and then it will will clamp a little bit your performance but it's not tragic let's make it the difficult one so let's go into our room come on come on with our room and let's put in our <laughs> our second way how we can actually do this and this is most definitely not the most elegant way so let's make it with come on put it in with screenshots and the code looks like this no actually the, my bad so this is the one with the application surface completely useless approach didn't work at all because well i just get the screen and what we do here and this is just a thing i just loop through uh, my alarm so every two seconds i will um, refresh my alarm and then I will have a value which I call screenshot so very quickly and then I have to do that thing in draw GUI here I take a screenshot 
Let's zoom in a little bit. I take a screenshot. Then you see that in the working direction, blah, 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 blah. And then I will uh, give it a number. And then it will be saved locally on your PC. So basically this is how you make your screenshot. This is just this part. You don't need any more than that. But maybe you want to say, hey, I want to use that. Therefore, we save uh, our sprite which we want to add so there is a specific thing which allows you to add external files which is normally pngs gifs and i guess jpegs and this is it then you can add those things and then i save it into a variable and that thing i draw on the screen so this is the whole code a little bit more difficult but eh not the most practical one as you can see it does work but you get like uh, and then it's getting stuck because it's it's saving and then it's basically completely pausing the game which is a bummer so it doesn't work but as you can see it does work but with some hiccups so if you want your game to be <laughs> delayed <laughs> every two seconds and be my guest so basically bad idea doesn't work too good so let's not do that so and then as you can see the thing it was just working on the screen so basically you're really having a screenshot on what you're having on your screen of course if you want to have a uh, play around with that because i did that as well so the completely useless approach this is not really a mini map even though i call it like that we can actually draw our application surface on the screen which looks pretty neat so if you want to have let's say a smaller version of your whole screen once again at a different position what you can do well it's just a one liner draw surface application surface in here which is the funny part because application surface is always there so it cannot disappear like the other surfaces you can uh, i don't know put it in a position and i guess it always works give it some transparency and so on so you can make it kind of like a camera thing as well so that was pretty much it seven minutes in way too long have a good one one up indie.